Hey there and welcome to the club. Today I'll be showing you how to draw a cannon bolt from Ben 10. Let's get started with the eyes. I'm going to start with a curve on the left side. Starting from the outside, we're going to curve down and in. Right about there. Now we're going to tuck in the eye underneath. So about halfway along this curve, we're going to draw a half circle. Starting from the top, curve around to the bottom, and then back up to the top. Let's do the same thing on the right. So we're going to leave a gap in the middle. Starting from the inside, we'll curve up and then out. Let's tuck the eye in underneath. So another half circle, curving around and then tucking that back up. Now let's draw the trim around the eye. Starting on the left side, we start with a short line coming down. We're gonna go across towards the eye. Now we're gonna curve along the side of the eye, coming down to right about there. Now we're gonna go straight across and to that point there. So we're going across. Now at the inside here, I just wanna draw a little angled line just for the tip of the eye. Let's color the outside area in black. We're going to do the same thing on the right side. Now let's start on the inside this time. We're going to go up in an angle with a short line. We'll go across underneath the eye. Now we're going to curve up alongside the eye. On the outside, we'll go out with a short line and then connect the top and the bottom. We're going to color the outside area in black. Let's move down below the eyes and draw in the mouth. So we're going to start with a little point down in the middle here for the top of the mouth. We're going to angle up and out underneath the left eye. And then we'll angle up underneath the right eye. From here, let's curve down the upper side of the mouth. So from the left side point, curve down. And it's about the same width as the eye here. Curve down on the right side as well. Now we're going to square off the ends. A straight line on either side. Now we're going to follow these curves back in underneath. So starting on the left side again, we're going to curve up. We'll come down with an angle to the center. Go back up on the right side. And then curve down on the right. Now we're going to split the mouth in half. So we're just going to go in between the top and bottom. And just draw the same line path. Just like that. From here, I'm going to move over towards the side of the mouth and just draw on the sides of the body coming down towards the waist. So on the left side, we're just going to move over from the mouth. I'm going to draw a little wave that comes down. So right here, curve in and then curve down. We'll do the same thing on the right. So I want to leave the same amount of gap, starting on the side here on the right, curving in and then down. Let's draw in the inside part of the upper arm. So just from this point, we're going to step down and draw an angled line going out. We'll draw the same thing on the right. So stepping down. Draw an angle line going out. From here, let's draw in the inner part of the forearms. So from this point, I want to curve down. Going in and then down to right about there. We'll do the same thing on the right. So curving in and then down to the same height. Now we're going to draw in the back of the knuckles. So from here, I'm going to curve up and out towards the left. Going out. Do the same thing on the right side. So curving up and out. Now we're going to curve this back in towards the back side of the elbow. So from the left side, I'm going to curve up just in sort of like a diagonal line with the inner part of the arm. So here I'm going to curve inward. So it pinches in towards the elbow. We'll go to the right side and do the same thing. So curving in. We're going to go to the outside part of the arm. So from here, I want to curve up in just about the same height as the eyes. So from here, I'm going to curve up to right about there. On the right, we'll do the same thing. So curving up to there. Now I want to connect those two points with a curve for the shoulders. So we're going to go up above the eyes from left to right. Going up. And then come down on the right side. Before I get into the detail, let's finish off the legs. So from this hip, I'm going to draw a little socket. Draw a little curve that goes in and down. Go to the right side and do the same thing. So coming in and then down. We'll curve the outside of the leg. So from here, we're going to curve downwards. On the right, we'll do the same thing. And we're going to flatten off the bottom of the feet. Curving across and in, we'll do the same thing on the right side. Now just up here in the middle, I'm going to have to draw in the lower torso. So we're going to draw a little curve across the middle, coming down the middle and over on the right side. Now we're going to curve the bottom of the feet back up underneath the lower torso. So curving up, we'll do the same thing on the right side. Now with these little sockets, I'm going to draw a curve going in the opposite direction. So from the top, we'll curve out 
and towards the bottom. On the right, we'll do the same thing. So curving out and then down towards the bottom. We're going to trim this out. So we're going to follow that same curve just on the inside. Going around, do the same thing on the right side, curving around. Let's add in some claws down here on the feet. So from this corner, I'm going to curve down towards the left and I'm going to pull that back up. We do that three times, curving down and then back up. One final time, back up underneath the feet. We'll do the same thing on the right side. Starting from the corner, curve down, back in, down, back in, and then one final one right here, back up. Now in the middle of the body right here, we're gonna draw in the Omnitrix symbol. So we're gonna start with a circle, Going from the top all the way around. Now we're gonna trim it out with the largest circle around. So we're gonna step up in the middle and go all the way around, leaving an even gap from top to bottom. Now in here we're gonna draw in the symbol. Starting on the left side, we're gonna draw a straight line in and go out. And then on the right side, we'll do the same thing. So coming in towards the middle and then out. Let's color these two areas in black. Now we're gonna add a stripe in behind the symbol. So in the middle, just below the mouth, we're gonna draw a little curve from left to right. Now from this point, I wanna angle down in towards the lower torso in behind the symbol. So coming down and then continuing on the bottom. We'll go out on the right and then come down on the bottom. Let's add in the claws and the hands. So right here, we're gonna add in the thumb claw first. So right here, we're gonna curve down. On the end, I'm just gonna round it out and then connect it towards that point. We're gonna add some claws along the bottom edge here. So starting on the outside, we're gonna step over towards the right, curving down, and then we'll taper it back up. We're gonna continue this three times, leaving a space, curving down, and then back up. And we'll add one final one right here, making sure you leave that little gap in between the claws. Let's do the same thing over here. So we're gonna start at the top corner, curving down. We'll draw a little socket, so a little curve like that and then we'll pull it right in towards that point. Now we're gonna draw on the claws underneath. So we're gonna start on the inside this time, stepping over towards the right, curving down, and then pulling that back up. Leave a space, curving down and in, back up, and then one final one, and pulling that right back up. Let's finish this off with the armor. So I'm gonna start on the left side here. I'm gonna start with a curve, going from up here on the outside of the arm, curve in, and then down. We'll do the same thing on the shoulder. So starting up here on the shoulder here, we we'll curve and then do a hard turn back in. So curving down and then doing a hard turn towards the side of the arm. Let's do the same thing on the right side. So stepping down from the elbow right here, curve down and then in. And up on the shoulders, we're gonna step in from the corner, curve down to right about there. We'll do a hard turn back to the side of the arm. Now we're gonna just draw a little trim on the outside. So this curve here, we're gonna start at the bottom, curve around to right about there, leaving a gap, and draw a straight line going up in an angle like that. Now we're gonna trace this out here, going around the bottom. We're gonna go up about halfway, going up to about there. We're gonna go back to the right side. So starting at the bottom, trace this around to right about there. Now we're gonna do the same angled line going up now we're gonna trace the side, going up to that turn. Now we're gonna go up about halfway along this line, going up to about there. Now we're gonna angle up and in, just above the eyes. Like that. Now we're gonna curve along the top of the eyes, towards the middle, leaving a gap. So curving in, we're gonna leave a gap right there. Curve over. And then we're gonna come down with an angle. Coming in, just above the mouth, on both sides, and we'll connect it with a straight line across the bottom. And that is pretty much it. There we have it, there's Cannon Bolt from Ben 10. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Make sure you subscribe and share this with your friends. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again soon.